Youth Runner here with uh, Mariah Hook, Tessa Walter, Olivia Chura, Jordan Banta from Air Academy. We're at the Liberty Bell Invitational uh, Air Academy. Taken uh, second today uh, by a 73-103 margin, uh, but uh, four in, uh, in, in the top 30. Uh, a lot of encouragement uh, for this group as they prepare to take the next step uh, in defense of their championship uh, at sea level uh, in California under the lights at the Woodbridge uh, Cross Country Classic. Mariah, obviously, uh, you know, it's September 14th, and you know, as this group knows better than anyone, you got uh, you got to be ready to go on yes. November 2nd, November 23rd, uh, December 7th. Uh, just you know, uh, but obviously, I know everybody really enjoys uh, Liberty Bell. How much do you feel like you learned from last year? to be able to apply to this race today? Oh, last year I was so nervous because it was my first race and I was a freshman and I didn't know like how I'd place on the team and stuff. But this race coming in, I was just like, I was so ready. I was like, I know these girls, I've raced with these girls, I run for them. And I just felt like so excited to finally race again. Awesome. And, uh, and, and in terms of, you know, uh, you know, having another really special opportunity uh, next week. You know, hopefully the, uh, the lineup will be even more fortified. You know, but uh, but even uh, if it isn't, uh, just you know how uh, you know how meaningful uh, is it for, uh, for you know, for the group to have, have a chance to, uh, to go down there and you know, see some teams outside you know, outside of Colorado and race at sea level. Oh, it's good because all of the like California teams are so fast and it's like a new environment. It's nighttime. It's hotter. It's just like so cool. Awesome. Tessa, in, uh, in, in terms of just what you hope this group takes out of you know each uh, each of these pieces, like you know, obviously, you know, Vista Nation two mile was one aspect. This is uh, uh, this is one aspect, you know. But uh, obviously, as we discussed all last year, the races that uh, that really matter, you know, especially this year with five A being even you know, deeper and stronger than it was, which I didn't think was humanly possible, but now it is. Um, it's about November second and November twenty third and December seventh. So, what are you hoping that the group is is taking to you know to learn and to build? through you know, Vista Nation, even the, the small group that raced at Arapaho and here today? I think the most important part is that we're learning how to work together. And I think like obviously today me and Jordan finished together, which is like super key. If we can all be super close to each other and just find each other during the race, I think that's what's gonna really help us at the end of the season. Most definitely. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, whether you won Woodbridge last year or not, we we knew that the group was one of the best in the country, still one of the uh, the best in the country. But uh, d d does it does it mean more? You know, like are all of these kind of like you know a little bit nostalgic in in their own way that it's you know it's you know like the, the you know, these trips are always sentimental and meaningful, but even even more so when you're an upperclassman. Yeah, it's definitely sentimental. Like I'm definitely excited to go my last Woodbridge, and this is my last Liberty Bell, so it makes it more fun because I just get to run for fun and know that it's my last time racing here, so I might as well go out and do my best. Most definitely, certainly did today, Olivia. Uh, just uh, in, in terms of this group really celebrating the identity of this team, right? I mean, no one's ever going to take the national championship out of the uh, out of the case or the state championship out of the case, but just really being present in 2024, you know, and and celebrating what this group can learn, how this group can develop, what this group can accomplish. How you know how how I mean, obviously, you know, Chuck's leadership is you know is is always going to help and be beneficial. But how important is it to you, ladies, that it's like like we just need to be present and celebrate each day with each other in 2024, mm -hmm. and, and and not try to duplicate you know anything about 2023. It's like a it's like a turn the page and it's a new adventure, right? Yeah, I mean, 20, 2023 was great, but obviously like it happened. But this year's a new year, just like a new page. I think we're so excited to see like what this year holds. Like no expectations, and like these girls talk about our identity are like some of my best friends. I think that is what I'll take from high school more than any trophy and I think like Chuck's leadership every day and like just the little things every single day I practice are like what really make a difference in like the long run. Absolutely. Uh, how much uh, do you feel like you learned about the pacing that's going to be necessary for you uh, next week because obviously a lot of people get excited in the first mile here people get even more excited in the you know in the, in the first mile at, uh, at, at Woodbridge so yeah. how beneficial was it for, uh, for you to just to kind of have that uh, that test run and be like okay there's going to be a hundred women around me and this is how I need to react yeah I mean this was my first race of the season and I'm a senior but I learn things every day from racing because I don't run all year round and so every single race I try and learn something and it's just a super cool environment this race is super special that we get to come to and I think every race I try and takes me in a way like like you talk about the pacing not to go crazy the first mile I mean Woodbridge is a huge race obviously so I think I can learn a lot from last year and just really like try and go out and not to like get too deterred from my surroundings and stuff. awesome well done good to have you back Jordan Banta uh, just in, in in terms of 
you know, I'm so Im impressed, so inspired uh, by, uh, by the leadership of, uh, of this group, right? Like, I mean, it's the toughest ask of, uh, of any team in the country. Same way with the Harriman guys, right? To, uh, to be able to be like, can they be as good? Can they be better last year? Especially when you know that, you know, two teams in your state are as good, if not better than, uh, uh, than last year. Maybe even three now with Chaparral, you know, running as well as, as they are. But like, it's, you gotta have great leaders in order to have a great team. Like, how important is that for, like, you know, for, for you and Tessa and Olivia and, you know, Lauren, like, especially this year, like, just to be great friends, great teammates, you know, great uh, great leaders, great ambassadors for this group. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, it's not even like the upperclassmen that are leaders, like all of our underclassmen are such leaders, like I'm inspired by them every day. And honestly, I think it's like taking the extra step to like get to know them outside of running, you know, just to like really bring them close to you because at the, at the end of the day, like you're racing for these people, like you're doing this for something a lot bigger than yourself. Um, so I think every day we all take the leadership role of just like pushing each other, you know, like making, we're all, making sure we're all doing the right thing and everything and I don't know I just like love how like I look up to the freshmen on my team I look up to Tessa and Olivia and all the seniors like it's great and and obviously you know I would be uh, remiss you know huge shout out for Emily as well but I, you know the one thing that this group did such a great job of last year uh, and obviously I, you know I know we'll continue to do a great job of you know next week and, and beyond this year is just taking advantage of the day taking advantage of the opportunity whether it's the, a full lineup whether it's you know you know some people in the lineup like obviously not everybody raced at arapaho yeah. that was okay you took advantage of that day the people that did race at vista take advantage of that day like how how important is it just you know, for the group just to try to get you know one percent better every day in workouts and and you know and, and and really try to challenge itself just with whatever resources are available and whoever chuck decides to put in that lineup uh, uh, on that day you know to, to really get the group you know ready for november and december when it matters most yeah i mean honestly like a lot of us choose to race different races so it's kind of rare when we have an entire lineup especially when we have a few injuries on the team so I think it's like good to adapt to that especially like that's what we've been doing a lot this year like that's our biggest change I feel like um, so I feel like every day in practice we're just learning to like work with different people work with like new environments and everything like that because I feel like that's the most important thing like it's never going to be perfect on the day you want it to be perfect um, so yeah well, uh, it was perfect at Glendivere Golf Course, and that's all that mattered. And uh, we're going to see uh, a lot more greatness uh, on that road to perfection uh, again uh, from Mariah and Tessa and Olivia and Jordan. Uh, ladies, congrats. Look forward to seeing you next week under the lights. Thank you.